Linux distributions, such as Ubuntu being used in this demo, require a password to use the sudo command. And this is for obvious safety reasons, to keep the user from running commands too easily without considering what the command might do first. So for example, if we try to install some software here, we can do sudo apt-get install, and then we'll just pick a program to install. Doesn't even have to be a real program. We're just trying to get the system to recognize that we want to run something with elevated privileges using sudo, and we're immediately prompted for the password. There is a way to alter the sudo file so that you don't need to type in the password every time. Obviously, there's all sorts of reasons why using the password is safer, so if you're watching this video, we're going to assume you understand the risks. To make this change, we're going to use the vsudo command, which itself requires elevated privileges. So, at least to run the vsudo, you're going to have to use sudo with the password one more time. When you run vsudo, it's going to open up the sudoers file so that you can edit it. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom, and we're going to type in our username, whatever your username is, space, and then all equals all. And then here is where we say that we don't need the password. So we're going to use no password for all commands. Now, if you don't want this to work for all possible commands, you can actually put a list of the commands that you want to allow this user to run, and you can also specify which ones of them don't require any password. In this case, we're just simply saying that this user is going to be able to sudo any command without typing in a password. To save the file, we're going to hit Control X to exit, and we're going to hit Yes to save the changes and then return to return back to the command line. Now let's try that same command again and this time we see that it runs without prompting us for a password. 